Hey guys, I filmed this magenta spotlight eye look. If you're interested, please keep on watching. So for this eye look, we're gonna be using the Morphe 35B palette. It's my first time using it, so I'm super excited. So the first color we'll be using is this orangey shade. As you first start to play with color, you want to apply a little bit of product at a time and slowly build it up. You don't want it to look crazy and then you're gonna have trouble blending it out. So here I'm applying the red shade on the brow bone. You can really see the difference when I take my time to build up the color versus when I just throw it on there. Now we're gonna take the first purple color and every time we apply a color, we wanna make sure we apply it lower than the previous color because that is what's gonna create that smooth transition. Of course, we have to make sure that we blend thoroughly throughout this entire process. Now we are taking the second purple shade for this look and we are applying it again lower than the previous color. We are really setting this one into that crease because it is what is gonna create the depth for our look. Now for the most important part, the cut crease. I like to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer and concealer brush. Here I am plotting the highest point of the semi-circle shape. As you can see, I'm moving towards the inner part of the eye and I'm using patting motions. Do not drag the concealer, pat it all the way through. Then you can decide whether you want to do a full cut crease or just a half cut crease. You'll notice that I go over it so many times with the patting motion because I really want to perfect that cut crease. You don't have to be perfect at it, you just have to be patient and very precise. Here I drag the concealer, I don't know why I did this, but it's all good because I can show you guys how I fix it when I mess up. Basically I take the darker shade of purple and apply it to that crease area and then I go back with the concealer and apply it again in that padding motion. This is exactly why you don't drag, you guys. Then we're gonna dip into this white shadow so that we can set the concealer. I'm not a fan at all of this shadow because I had to dip into the palette five times and the payoff was still trash. Here we start buffing the entire color scheme in the inner and outer corners of the cut crease so we know it's orange, red, first purple and second purple. As you guys watch this buffing process, you guys start to see the halo coming into place. As we apply the last purple, you guys can really see the depth it creates. Now taking the shade Blue Eyes from the Moonchild palette, we're going to apply that in the halo area. I want you guys to see the difference from when I use the Mario Badescu spray to when I don't. If y'all aren't on this method of spraying already, I suggest you get on it right away. Go to Ulta and buy yourself a bottle of lavender, rose water, whatever. Trust me, it will bring out your shadows. 10 times more. Here I'm using the Makeup Forever HD foundation, some Maybelline concealer under my eyes, on my chin, and on my forehead. Then I set it with a little spongy, dab it on there. I love using the RCMA translucent powder. It's really a great dupe for, oh, I just dropped some on my titty. Here I'm applying my Macro Smooth Sephora Foundation Face Powder because it leaves my skin looking flawless. Here I'm brushing all the excess powder off. I'm not trying to look like a ghost in all of my pictures, in any of my pictures, really. Who does? Not me. 
Now we're gonna go to our lower lash line and apply the same color scheme, orange, red, and the two purples. And then we're gonna add some inner corner highlight with the same color we used for the halo area. I'm applying my Sugar Plum Lashes in 201. They're my new go-to, completely replace the Huda Beauty ones for me. Cheaper and better. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do an eyelash application video or anything you guys want to see, really. So you already know I sprayed my fan brush with Mario Badescu using Moonstone and Summer from the Sunday palette, dabbing some on my nose. Now I'm putting some on my cheek. I love highlight, so this is a little extra, but you know. Lastly, some NYX setting spray to set everything in place. Here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow my social medias and please comment below. Like, subscribe. Tell me what you guys would like to see in the next video. Thanks for watching.